Welcome to this session of analyzing AWS WAF logs using CloudWatch Logs Insights and Contributor Insights. Hello, my name is Pranesh Chairaj and I'm a Senior Technical Account Manager here at AWS. CloudWatch Logs Insights enables you to query and analyze your WAF log data in Amazon CloudWatch Logs. You can use sample queries or write your own custom queries to identify potential issues and validate deployed fixes. CloudWatch Contributor Insights enables you to analyze WAF log data and create time series that displays top N contributors based on different fields in WAF logs, such as IP addresses, user agent, host, and terminating rules. First, navigate to AWS CloudWatch Log Groups console. Select Create Log Group. Give the log group a descriptive name. Please note, for WAF logging, the log group name should start with AWS-WAF-Logs-Prefix, followed by a name of your choice. Choose the retention settings based on your requirements and select Create. Navigate to the AWS WAF console and select Web ACLs. Then select the region containing your WAF resource. Select the Web ACL that you want to enable logging, then go to Logging and Metrics and then select Enable. In the Edit Logging page, select CloudWatch Logs Log Group as the logging destination and select the Created Log Group. If you want to redact any fields or filter web requests, then select the settings as necessary and save. Now the WAF logs are set up, to send to the specified log group in CloudWatch Logs. Log analysis can be done within WAF console by going to Web ACLs under AWS WAF, select your Web ACL, and then CloudWatch Log Insights. Alternatively, you can analyze the logs in AWS CloudWatch console as well by going to Log Insights under Logs by selecting your log group. For the sake of this demo, let's analyze the logs using CloudWatch Log Insights from within the WAF console. In the Query Editor, you can select one of the saved queries or sample query templates or write your own custom queries to filter the WAF logs. For this demo, let's take an example scenario that some of your legit client requests are blocked by WAF and you wanted to parse through the WAF logs to find out why those requests are blocked and identify any false positives so that you can fine tune your WAF rules if those requests are actually legit. This Logs Insights query will summarize all the blocked requests for a selected time period by client IP addresses, URI and match rule and sort the results by request count. Please note, custom queries can only be saved for future use in Logs Insights in CloudWatch Console. This concludes the demo for CloudWatch Logs Insights. Let's move on to the next part of the demo, analyzing WAF log data using CloudWatch Contributor Insights. First, let's go to CloudWatch Console and choose Contributor Insights and then choose Create Rule. the rule definition, 
choose wizard. Under log groups, select the name of the WAF log group that you created earlier. In the rule type, choose sample rule and select any sample rule under WAF logs. For this demo, I am selecting top countries. You could also create your own rules from scratch. For the log format, you have the option to choose JSON or common log format. For this demo, I am going to choose JSON. For aggregation, you can choose how you want these contributors to be ranked. For this demo, I am choosing count. Then select next. For rule name, enter a name. Enable rule state. Select next. Review changes and select create rule. As you can see, the created rule lists the top countries where the requests are originating from as well as the number of requests from each country within the selected time period. This contributor insights will come in very handy to find the top n contributors especially during a DDoS event response or live traffic analysis. Also, it can be added to a dashboard and it is plottable as a metric that can be alarmed on. So now you know how to set up CloudWatch logging for WAF logs and analyze them using CloudWatch logs insights and contributor insights. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.